Hello, welcome to Jen's Unique Nibbles and More. On today's episode, we are trying Halo Top. My daughter informed me that Halo Top has a keto series. And so we went and investigated that. And when I saw Jelly Donut, they had me. <laughs> um, this was $3.88 at Walmart for a one pint container. It is three servings per container. And uh, that's 150 calories per serving, 11 fat, 15 carbs, and 6 protein. But you know, if you're just going to go hog wild and eat the whole thing, they now tell you the nutritional value for that as, as well. So it's 450 calories for the whole tub if that's what you want to do. And uh, this is what it looks like. I scooped some in a bowl. So the thing to know... See, it didn't scoop very well. I even had a proper ice cream scoop and it just didn't scoop real well. It's kind of crumbly. The ingredients in this, it starts out with uh, ultra-filtered skim milk and then cream. So I think that's why it's kind of crumbly. If you ever uh, make your own ice cream keto style, it's a real different texture than regular ice cream, but it's, it's good enough. It does the trick. Um, erythritol, What's nice about this is it has real strawberries. So the strawberry swirl has real strawberries in it. Um, the part where it says the donut pieces sounds like real donut ingredients. It's wheat flour um, and, and eggs and sugar and butter. So sounds like legit little donut chunks going on in there. So we are going to try it. I have a little bitty bowl, I have a little bitty spoon, just right. That is really tasty. I quite like the taste. There's no bitter aftertaste. Farther down the label there is stevia and there's no bitter aftertaste from that. It's not rock hard like when I try to make my own keto ice cream. It comes out if you don't eat it in the exact window that the recipe tells you to it ends up being like a brick tasty brick, but a brick. And this is not like that. It is, however, kind of a different texture than ice cream. Like when I cut it with a spoon, it kind of crumbles. And the mouthfeel is a little different than regular ice cream because that cream probably. The texture reminds me of um, if you've ever eaten frozen Cool Whip. You know those tubs of Cool Whip? If you ever just eat that while it's frozen um, or if you make your own keto ice cream and you make it with cream the mouth feel is a lot like that you get a piece with the strawberry swirl so you can see that and see you can't cut a nice pretty spoon it just kind of crumbles a little bit but it all tastes good the donut crumbles are really tiny I don't think I can show you those Okay, you can't see it because it's the same color as the ice cream, but I have a little donut crumble right there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. It's nice and soft. You'd think that would be more firm for being frozen, but it's really good. And I like this. $3.88 for a pint. That is not bad. I work at a health food store, and all of our keto ice creams are maybe five dollars on sale if you're lucky. They're usually like six or seven bucks for a pint. So I think to get a pint for $3.88 at Walmart is pretty darn good. That's all for now. I'm going to go finish my ice cream and I'll see you next time. Bye!